Hi Capricorn, welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Uh, I'm sitting here at a kids table uh, on a little wooden uh, kids chair. I think it's Ikea. Uh, and my butt is starting to hurt a bit. So <laughs> I might uh, jump around a bit in this reading. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm doing a bit of a house sitting uh, thing here for my sister. So I'm doing what I can in order to, to get these videos out. Um, Capricorn, that is Stenbok in Swedish. Uh, I will go a bit back and forth with the Swedish words where I feel like maybe the English needs some clarification. I am Swedish, therefore that will and randomly just do that. Um, yeah, and let's see what Capricorn is up to this week. What your energy will draw through me. It's not a typical tarot reading. I'll just use these cards to get my own inspiration and intuition going get some clear answers for you there's a humongous <laughs> microphone here because uh, I have a different camera and it just feels like it's a bit in my face I'm sorry if there's a weird sound it might be a weird sound Capricorn Capricorn what is up Stian Okay, your bonus card. Let's start with this. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> A little sip of coffee. So. I feel like you're thinking about a relationship. You, you're the the Capricorn that I'm connecting with. Um, did we talk about a, a relationship last week? I don't think we did. Um, I, I. Okay, so. Yes. Um, sorry. Uh. I feel like you're thinking about a relationship and a relationship that you miss. Like there's a person that you're missing and they haven't gone missing. Like it is a it is an alive. I feel like there's an alive person and you probably were together with them and now they're your ex. And whether you ended it or they ended it it doesn't really matter. It's just that lately or, vi or very recently, something has happened with, which has made you think about them more for some, some reason. And in Sweden right now, there's a, like a typical vacation time. So it just might be that you remember what you did last year around this time. It might be that you feel like you might be alone and you can't do like the same things that you did with a partner um now you're going it alone um but there's like the the memories that you have there there are there is a bit of heaviness like uh like uh, i miss that i want that back and you don't necessarily want the person back or the relationship back but you want that person and the the card that i got is called memories and um yeah. I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna do this for an hour. Uh, yeah, maybe you can. Yes, 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 yes. Go camera, go camera. I don't know, but there you can see there's like probably five or six different relationships there. A lot of kissing, a lot of holding hands, hugging. Ah, focus, please focus. Just decided maybe it's for the best it's gonna blur out because you need to blur out and blur in to what will replace your old relationship and and I feel like you have more of like a feeling of what was lost or, or that what you miss rather than how excited you are for the new person to come in I'll just I'll just take the second card straight away because it feels like yeah what's going on with you Capricorn um 
you are in like a really good spot you're you're there's a lot of nourishing things here there's a lot of i feel like a lot of heat like pink if, if a lot of pink shows up that's like a romantic love to me and if a lot of green shows up that's like whole love that's like it's not like the quick fix uh movie soulmate version this is like the i'm healed i'm a i'm a whole person and therefore i will attract like a soulmate relationship that really does not complete me because i'm complete on my own it rather adds on uh just another layer of beautiful color and uh, and this card just shows me that you're like in full green you're there sitting there in the little creek and beck and um but do you see how like a bit like you're not sad but you're sort of all, also a bit you're a bit weighed down like something has has you weighed down and not way down like weighed uh something is taking your day and there's a lot of growth here like it's like a lot of spiritual growth going on because i feel like after the personality is is healed after you come into a, a beautiful place where you sort of really know yourself and and you know your stuff and and there's there's a lot of healing that's gone on and and you don't have to go through trauma like when i said there's a lot of healing going on people uh often assume that then there must have been trauma or there must have been something that you're like healing from but i'd say that just being born and just being alive and just have lived lived this life for uh, uh quite some time um requires some healing and if you are the tiniest sensitive to what's going on in the rest of the world i suggest that whatever you can shut the news off don't read any papers don't read any gossip uh like newspapers um try to when the news comes on the radio to turn it off like if you're on facebook uh go to the people that you know are uplifting at heart and sort of don't gossip um if you have to go there at all uh i feel like the facebook is like the their i don't know i maybe should involve my personal opinion about facebook um anyway i just feel like there's stuff being offered to you right now there's like a there's diamonds in the rough like there's there's hidden treasures there's hidden uh like walk paths with which will lead to beautiful beautiful adventures experiences meetings connections like there's a beautiful time for you ahead but you are a bit like with your head in the clouds thinking about what it was like before and you're sitting here all healed, all well, all, all beautiful in your body. Uh, really have started to come into like full fruition in yourself. And that is rare, people. That is rare, Capricorn. That people are that whole in themselves. And so you probably have, like if you've had illnesses, it has probably started to fall away. And you like... I, I go as far to say if you have been like diabetic for years and years all of a sudden you might want to go to the doctors for a checkup to see what's going on and they might say you don't have diabetes anymore if you've been like really overweight or had trouble with like your knees due to just imbalance in your body and maybe a bit with your weight when you come into like a balanced whole place the weight that was on the body sort of doesn't have to be there anymore because it's does it yeah, it has served its purpose whatever you've been protecting yourself against before when you're in balance there is no need for protection anymore and so it sort of just takes care of itself it just falls away your knees get all better you're like stuff that has gone on for, like you think you thought this was the situation for the rest of your life Capricorn it's not like it's like you're you're starting over 
And so if you start to see how truly magnificent that is, how, geez, you're diabetic free, for heaven's sake, um, then, then you would have a different viewpoint. But for some reason, it's like I want to give you a hug because it feels like you're a bit alone or lonely, I should say. You can be alone and still feel fine, but I feel like you, you're a bit lonely. Um, yeah, <laughs> sorry for laughing. I just, I just remembered. I side note, very quickly side note. Um, uh, I was uh, being an au pair in America back in the forever ago, and I sent a photo because uh, I was taking care of children back then to show that I was. Uh, that I was caring for children and uh, it was a situation where I cared for like four to five kids at the same time and I wrote into my uh, family in America that I was very lonely with the children I meant that I was alone with the children uh, funny maybe not so funny to you uh, anyway um, I feel like you think that there might be some sneaky energy maybe you feel like you've been treated wrongly like that somebody has been doing you wrong, that they've been they've been a bit sneaky because they get the lizard here. Do you see the lizard in the card? Yeah, very very clearly. It's like a sneaky energy that is there, and it's a bit tricky, and it's a bit sleazy, and it it feels like you've you've come across them or you want to get rid of them, and at the same time, you're swimming in the creek of fish frogs dragonflies and to me that is just fish that are like swimming downstream they're just following in the flow uh dragonflies that sort of really stands out as, as a, a humongous spiritual growth the frogs that speak so much about happiness and just taking life as it comes and just enjoying the moment and and you are hung up on some not so beautiful energy and i get that um, that you have been feeling a bit bogged down by this energy and with all your I mean stay there for as long as you want stay there for as long as you need um, I think it's Byron Katie that says uh, she does the thing that it's called the work and um, I think it's her and she says uh, problems belong on paper or conflict belongs on paper like whatever you feel like uh if it's really negative and it's sort of you can't, sort of can't stop it put it on a piece of paper just write it down to just get it off your chest and get it off your in your body you have such an easy time doing this because you you are in such a balanced position and so if you haven't seen it yet i i would say that you are you are paradise like you're living breathing eating paradise that's how balanced your energy feel and so it's almost a bit almost waste of energy and waste of time to even remember the previous relationship in a, in a in a in a bit of heavy way and sort of inviting this this sleaze ball of energy um that it, it truly does not have to be there it really is that simple as just focusing somewhere else or just put it down on a piece of paper and it will like lift off it off it off of your body and instead there's this beautiful energy waiting for you i'd go as far as to call her or him a soulmate it's a soulmate connection for sure and it's a gazillion birds around this energy which just tells me that they're on the move. So they're coming to you. I just want you to be able to see them when they're there and when they're and when they arrive in your life, because right now you would miss them. It's not like you would miss an opportunity. They will come and come again until you actually lift your head and, and see them. Um, so it's all good. It's all good. Remember and remember well and then let it go. You can let it go, Capricorn. I know you can. And then put it on a piece of paper if it's too heavy. And and then just start to look around. The, the paradise that you're in right now, I can't even describe it. It's like so much good energy for you. 
And the reason it is, is because you are. You're in such a good place. You really have done your homework. Okay, I got a bonus card there that I... And past time. Uh, next week, I might do extended. Who knows? Um, hope you enjoy this this um, this uh, uh, message, uh, Capricorn. I hope you feel better soon. I'm sending you lots of love and lots lots of hugs. It it is really all well. All is well. Okay. Have a beautiful week, Capricorn. Hope to see you next week.